<laughs> that home is an investment home, and Chris contributes half of the rent. She's not a housewife. She's a house daughter. That's great. That's I'm happy for you. And you're you. a house trollop. Be quiet. <laughs> Michael is in his 70s. Who lived in his... Michael is you know due Michael to check out in five minutes. You know Michael has had a business since he was in his 30s? And you are sitting and waiting on pins and needles since he was in his 30s? To collect your little check. Okay. You all right. think you're right. so right. cute. Like the trash lawyer. Okay. okay. It's like a lot. Be quiet. Okay. Okay. This whole trash thing. Have you looked in the mirror? Calling everybody Ooh. trash? Yes. It's getting really old. Oh, like your husband so refers to my husband as trash? We're going to talk about the disgusting things that you say on social media. I don't don't say nasty things about people. And I don't talk behind people's back. I don't. Not not at all. Not at all. I respond sometimes. I'm saying things. That was really it. I apologize to you a long time ago. (laughs) Sharice? Okay. I'm not calling you a whore. Oh, about the Monica. Monica. Um, Yeah. Well, I'll apologize to you right now. I was not. I thought it was funny. Thank you. It was a pun. How much of the restaurant does Chris own? That is proprietary information. That's a valid question that because like, our chef has I'm sure it is to you. A, a percentage in our restaurants. We call him one of the owners. But yes. in actuality, it's a fairly small percentage. So that, I think that's a fair question. The hard worker. You all don't know this, but Chris came from a very prominent family also. Yes, he, he has not put it on the show. His family owns well, one of the largest family. companies from here to yes. the very so tip of West that, Virginia. But Chris, he he like what's the company? Do not. So I never will about, listen to you calling me trash when you can't control your husband you and his nasty hands. Okay? The man you lay with is itching. Okay. Take a test. All right. Um, Shut the f- up about talking you, about my you, husband itching. You even met Karen. No. Well, imagine Giselle on performance enhancing bad drugs. <laughs> that was just that was funny. Good. I thought it was no, funny too. That's not funny. That's not funny. That's, That's insulting. Shit. I don't care what either one of them have to say. And no one yeah. cares what you have to say either. Okay. We're all Katie. on the same page there. Huh. Cherise, this is the first time I've heard an apology, and I appreciate it. But the last time we talked, or the last mm-hmm. time you sent me a text, I was a lying, effing, trifling bee. Rightfully so. And yeah. That's cute, but th- it's still no one's business. It's a business. fair question. So you can but deflect it, but all you no like. No, ma'am. It, that was a fair question. Just because question. you that like to share question. everything but your twat with the world you shared, not mean. You shared well, your man's I mean, penis, you're, and you're, you're going to come for me? You're both going to. What do you do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Trust and believe that I have owned all of my businesses longer than anyone else has had a business on this show. So the fact that you are saying to me Doing that what? I'm the least accomplished. I competed for Miss America. Bitch, what does that do Ask for you? about me. You butted your forehead into my conversation. Well, so no, it was after you trashed her song, so. She that you re- asked re- me about. Yes, I did. Word on the street is that she's word on the street. Yes. It must be a small street. <laughs> it's a very small street that no one's ever been on. I haven't heard about it, so. <laughs> oh, it's a back alley street that's like somewhere outside of Potomac. Y'all know about my street. There uh-huh. was no ticker tape. And you texted you her apologize. and called her a f***ing trifling bitch. A lying trifling bitch. When, when did yes, that text come through? I don't know, that too. was just on Twitter. Uh, no. <laughs> it's on a reality show about your lives. So, sure, I mean, yes. There's no, it, and we reserve the right to be judicious about what we share. Ask about me. People know me. Ask, ask about me. That is Nobody true. knows like, you. That's very true. Ma'am, Nobody ma'am, knows you, know, you. you know what you're known for? They do know you. You know what you're known knows for? You. For being a gold digging asshole. All right. Okay. Doing right. concubines. All right. All right. Be quiet. Right. Time out. Okay. Time All right. Out. Uh, I'm someone who responds when okay. I am being insulted. Even in that clip, you said, sorry for what? So you didn't have any remorse for the hurt that you caused me. I could have said that it was affecting me emotionally and hurting me. It wasn't. But I could have. And yet here, Karen is not the, the grand dame of Potomac. That's not true. We are um, the grand dame. So, dom, so there's a, a, a delusional of sense of entitlement that is based on Let absolutely nothing. Let me ask you a nothing. question. Who I mean, is Andrew it's with not, a missing digit? I'm just saying. What? <laughs> After she said to Robin that I told her that I so was cheating, cheating on my husband. You had. Giselle. You know. That is very damaging to say that I told you that I cheated on my husband. She comes. What's going on with Chris and his kids? They're great. Do you have a relationship with um, his ex-wife? I do not. I do not. You should try to um, resolve that. So do you think that her behavior was reflective of your behavior? No. I do not get upset and get angry like that. Okay. I'm just sitting here. Okay. Yeah. Just curious. Yeah. Thank don't you worry for about an apology. Your babies and your husband. What is or worrying about your that's children and language. your husband? You're not talking and about my, my kids. My choices with my husband and my children. So don't get all sensitive when she just mentions the fact that you have children. She didn't. What? <laughs> Who is she? I, mean, I, I don't know him. Well, I think it was extremely offensive. He, he, he got, got a missing digit. He's missing a finger. He got into a car accident and he lost his finger. I'm sorry about that. 
she comes on Watch What's Happening Live and tells you, oh, Sharice has a boyfriend. She's going to be with her boyfriend, the fireman. Oh, uh, well, this, this is headline news. news. <laughs> was it a lie? It was a lie, Giselle. Come on. Okay. So we're doing really well. We are continuing to spend more time together. We're continuing to focus on our family. Seems like you've been saying this for years. No, but this is now. So before it was about. You told your therapist that you look up to Michael as a father figure. Is that why you married him? Do you think there's some connection to marrying a man that kind of looks like your father? She didn't okay. say anything I'll negative about your yes, child. Yes, she did. She said things about me and my did, family. Did she say he looks like your husband? I don't know. I don't. Was that not rude? Uh. Cartier. Making fun of people who have lost a finger is not good etiquette. I'm talking and about that's Andrew. Number. I'll that's make up a number. He's not that special, but I, you know, next. All right. Well, so you.